Hey, Ted. Hey, what's up, Peter? Andy Lou Who says, guys, if you haven't already done this, try jumping on one of the Yiga planes flying around in the depths whilst wearing the Yiga outfit Ooh. and then change the outfit once you're standing on the plane. <laughs> Guaranteed to make you smile. LOL. I want to try this. We got to. So we got to find one of those out uh, like outposts uh -huh. with the flying planes. Correct. And then we got to do it. And then I mean, we got to give it a try. I've got the Yiga outfit already. So we're just going to try to find one, I guess, as quick as possible. Thank you very much for the suggestion, Andy Lou Who. That is a great Dr. Seussian inspired name after the character Cindy Lou Who. And also great use of the word Wulst in your uh, <laughs> suggestion. We appreciate Wilst. that. And we appreciate you. And uh, off we go into the wild black yonder to get this done. This is going to be uh, kind of a, a little bit of a crapshoot to see if we can find that place. Can we say shoot in the basement? I think we can. <laughs> we can on this channel. <coughs> it's a Fox affiliate. Yeah. We are not a Fox affiliate. <laughs> no. Just in case you are wondering. What's the name of the... Norman Rockwell. No. Brock... Lesnar. No. Brockman. <laughs> Kent Brockman. <laughs> I knew I'd get it. Ken Brockman says the C-R-A-P word. Or no, Bart Simpson says it in front of Ken Brockman. And he says, can I say that? On this network, you can. <laughs> well, this is the Basement Network. T-B-N. The Basement Network. T-B-N. Bringing, bringing you all Zelda all the time. B-B-B-O. <laughs> That'd be our radio call handle. B-B-B-O, the stinker. <laughs> Got blastedly bad body odor, B-B-B-O. This room, po, 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 po. the basement does, from time to time, start to develop a little bit of a smell. But Peter treats this room and cleans it. Uh, regularly enough that it doesn't fester. It festers a little. It doesn't quite fester to the point where it could. Yeah, it is what I'm trying it, to say. It festers, but not to the point of putrescence. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm so glad I don't fester to the point of putrescence. <laughs> we we flirt with putrescence. Yoo hoo! Uh, uh, who's that? My name's putrescence. <laughs> But I don't know who that is. Putressa. Is that the <laughs> is, that, is that the basement over there? Hey, Putressa. Yoo hoo. <laughs> Smelling rather strong tonight. <laughs> yeah, I always wanted to try the beverage Yoo hoo. If you're not familiar, Yoo hoo is a chocolate milk like beverage sold in glass bottles in gas stations, uh, where other fine semi foods are sold. You know, you can make it yourself. Well, I tried it, and I was like. Oh, yeah, it's, it's not good. It's, it's worse. I'd no, rather have chocolate not. milk. I thought it'd be chocolate milk, but better. It's no, chocolate milk, but worse. It's not chocolate milk. You know, yeah, you can make no. it yourself. It's chocolate syrup in water is what it is. Gross. It's a chocolate drink. Ew. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's, it's like mud water. Yeah. Chocolate drink. I think we're going to have to go just out into nothingness for a minute here. I wonder if we say mud water and chocolate drink in this video, if YouTube will choose to put that mud water <laughs> ad on it. Yeah. My buddies are like, dude, what the is in your drink? <laughs> what and the I'm like, is it's in your mud. I was like, wow, that the people who watched made that commercial were inspired by the um, the commercial where the kids are in the back of the end elevator. And one of them's like, you want to try one of my worms? Oh, yeah. That's and the right, adults, and all are, the adults like, are getting gross. Disgusting. Ooh, his legs are wiggling. Is it crawl in your mouth? And when we were like nine, Ew. we thought that that was the funniest stuff on TV ever. <coughs> yeah, well, we grew up barely, but still enough to know that the mud commercial's not funny. So if that played, bummer. <laughs> bummer for you guys. And us, I guess. Well, maybe. I mean, if, if, if commercial played i guess we got paid so uh um yeah i know at least that's what they said <laughs> that's what people said ooh, ooh. <laughs> where is so uh, this really is kind of a uh crud shoot <laughs> <laughs> i already said it once <laughs> i'm trying to clean it up by saying my, saying it fewer times now was that a big spooky frox it was a big spooky frox foxes scare me 
I'm always worried there's a frox under my bed. But then I remember my bed's not 80 feet tall, and, I, and I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> I'm not afraid anymore. My bed isn't 80 feet tall. It would never even fit. Hey, that dark red, like, root structure thing behind you and to the left? Yeah. I thought something was going to happen with that. Oh, if it was, like, going to like, come alive? in the game, yeah. That they would all start to, like, pull and move, and a boss would appear in the depths. Oh, that would be terrible. <coughs> Fortunately, Peter's it didn't happen. Fighting a little bit of a chest cold. Yeah, a I, bit of a I swallowed two tickle. moths. One went into each lung. Phew. Yeah. So I guess I didn't technically swallow them. I just inhaled them. I hope they were moths. <coughs> and oh. Ted's fighting a bit of a sneeze monster. <laughs> yeah, it's eighty feet tall. I worry <laughs> about it sometimes. Yeah. It's a it's a runny nose frox. A light route to spell oh, no, the darkness. There aren't any Yiga things even around here. Ah! Uh, Should we look up where one is? We're the least prepared professional Zelda channel on YouTube. Well, this is the you choose how we play, and so we're we're attempting to to do this. But right? No, I yeah, I I kid, I kid. This is the this is the series where we we just play it to figure it out. Yeah. It's our bridge between the basement and basement let's play. Basement let's play, the basement's second channel. Where we treat it like we used to treat the main channel seven years ago. What's that on your YouTube TV app? It's mud. No, it's the basement let's play channel. <laughs> They've got 5,000 subscribers now. You should. Re it's time to check them out. Is That's that a Yiga hideout? That's the you check them out. I don't know. No, that's uh, that's one of those um, mines, abandoned mines. Hardcore and core, regular core, longtime viewers of the channel may remember that Ted and I got Fly tattoos to celebrate 500 subscribers on this channel. Oh, Maybe we'll have right. to get tattoos to celebrate 5,000 subscribers on the second channel. I don't know. I need to get a, a different tattoo first. I can't have... Back-to-back -back Nintendo <laughs> tattoos? Well, I mean, I could, but... And uh, and you will. And if the third <laughs> channel reaches 50,000 subscribers, you might have three in a row. Oh, my. Um, I don't know what I would... I know my second one would probably be a Super Nintendo controller. But I don't think I could get a That's... Nintendo 64 controller tattoo. I think some I, people might I do would, GameCube, but they're want... too goofy looking for me. And I didn't play Smash. Right. So it's like, eh. Did you play Mario Kart Double Dash? Barely. That was a good Mario Kart game. That's what I hear. No, my like my GameCube was basically like it's my smallest collection of games for sure. Thousand Year Door, uh, Simpsons Hit and Run, Wind Waker, and arguably Sunshine. those are good games. <coughs> and Burnout, which is not that good. But yeah, there wasn't a standalone Zelda title for it, was there? Oh, Wind Waker. Well, Wind Waker. Never mind then. Mm hmm. And then I think, didn't Twilight Princess come out on it and the Wii? Yes. Yeah, even, even without Twilight Princess factoring in, you still have a standalone on the GameCube, which is Wind Waker, and a standalone on the Wii, which is Skyward Sword. Uh, but the poor Wii U never got a standalone Zelda game. It's the only home console that never got a standalone Zelda game. Probably the only console period that never got a standalone Zelda game. Is that a is that a Yiga? I don't think it is. Oh. But I'm hoping that it's close to one. I mean there's light there. Maybe it's one of those um Oh, it is one of those towers. Turning your things for a thing. Things. No, it's just a tower. These Yiga things used to be, like, so easy to find. I feel like I always see them down here. Why don't I see any now? All right, I'm going to name two celebrities, dead or alive. And I want someone. Ooh. I want you. Yes, you. You who are watching and listening right now. He's pointing at the screen. I want you to tell me. I'm pointing out of the screen at you. Picture me. You'll have to take his word Link for it. is running toward me, and I am pointing past him to you. And I'm saying, I want you to tell me which of these two celebrities you would and would not watch and listen to their Let's Play channel. 
<laughs> that was so convoluted. Okay, so two celebrities. One you w- you would subscribe to and one you would not if they had Let's Play channels. Got it. Okay. And they may or may not be dead. Celebrity A, Burt Reynolds. Does anybody even know who that is? I barely even know who that celebrity is. Celebrity B, Norm MacDonald. We'll go with newer actors for the next one. <laughs> I was going to say, please. <laughs> Burt Reynolds is the guy with the mustache who, like, always drove fast cars and a nope. cowboy hat. Don't know him. He was actually parodied by Norm MacDonald yeah, as Turd Ferguson in Saturday Night Live's Celebrity Jeopardy. Another old person refer- reference. Good job, Peter. Three. They don't still do that? Three and one. Three and one. Well, I'm trying to match the level of gameplay here where you just wander around fruitlessly. I'm going in a direction <laughs> trying to find something. At least I'm trying. Maybe it's the only time celebrities, for a new different I think the direction. only celebrities our viewers really would know would be YouTube celebrities. Okay, okay. Would you watch a Mr. Beast Let's Play <gasps> channel? Wait, he has that. Yeah, Mr. Beast Gaming. Would you watch a The Basement Let's Play? Wait, we have that. It's Basement Let's Play. <laughs> um, hmm, Okay. How about uh, musicians? Lil Wayne or Nas X? (laughs) (laughs) I'd subscribe to Lil Wayne. By the way, the the correct answer to the first one is Norm MacDonald. Yes. Ah, geez, these guys. Ah. Ah. What's the deal with these guys? I mean. That's Seinfeld. What's the deal? Okay, Seinfeld? (laughs) <laughs> or Carrot Top. <laughs> Peter! <laughs> this is the most boring video already. Don't make it worse. All right, all right. Uh, let's see. I'll look up my magic list of uh, <coughs> interesting ad lib topics to riff on. Gosh, I can't even. <laughs> I can't even find a stinking light root. Okay. Which of the following food combinations would you be willing to try? Peanut butter on lime. Ooh. Or Nutella Ooh. on lobster. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go for peanut butter on lime. I think I'd do peanut butter and lime before I do Nutella on lobster. Like, what if you could do, like, peanut butter and lime jelly so it was kind of sweet on, on bread? Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. Nutella on lobster, though, I don't, I mean, I hate every animal that comes out of the ocean. I won't eat it. Even <laughs> if a cow came out of the ocean, you turn it into steaks. I'd refuse. That's how anti-seafood like, I am. a cow, like, washes up on the beach, and you're like, ew. A cow gross. washes <laughs> well, like that's, a dead cow? That's, that's gross for a few reasons. Like driftwood? What if it was a it's live cow? It's all bloated. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's easy to de-bloat a cow, a dead cow. Yeah, poke gotta, it. Yeah. That's right, they moo even in death. Sounds like a deflating tuba. Even through poke holes. You know my son fell asleep in a tuba case? (laughs) What? (laughs) Yeah, during choir, he snuck into the band room and there was a soft tuba case. And he climbed in and closed the lid on himself and took a nap. There's something wrong with that boy. There's nothing... In this hole, the depths. There's no there. I'm I'm convinced. We got one of those bad files where there's nothing in the depths. It's the Bruno Mars depths. Bad file. They say that every copy of Tears of the Kingdom is customized. So if you have an eerie feeling that you're doing something that nobody's ever done before, you're probably right. <laughs> That's what they say. Have you done that like Mario 64 iceberg dive ever on the internet about like uh, why does Mario 64 feel scary like there's no music in some places and the Mario's footfalls don't use um there's no reverb there's they no stinking delay. there's no stinking Yiga camps we're going somewhere else yeah <clears throat> what about the reverb delay what Mario's footsteps they use like tr- tr- delay and okay. DK rather than reverb. Oh. And it like it just it's the like the audio version of the uncanny valley. 
so oh, it makes yeah, it feel I know a that little feeling, yeah. Yeah, and like the inside of the castle is a, like a little bit of like a liminal space. Mm. And uh there really are no characters walking around. There's just the toads that are kind of stuck in the walls because of, you know, Oh wow, limitations. yeah, that is really creepy. Yeah. And um yeah. even the music, even though the music's happy, and Mario's deaths are like kind of gruesome, like his eyes X out and he goes through like this whole death animation. Like if he falls down or if he drowns, he does like the choking thing, you know, and then oh, wow, you're right. floats there. It is kind of dark. It's like a darker Mario game than the NES or Super and Nintendo. And that's why everybody loves it so much. Well, it was also just mind blowingly amazing. What the heck is this guy? Uh oh. You've wandered into a. Uh, Burt Reynolds of a situation here. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> Turd Ferguson. It's funny. Ah, gal. What's the... This guy. Why is this guy in such a bad mood, eh? What is he, German? This is the episode where Peter does a really bad impression of Norm MacDonald. <laughs> it's going to go down in history as one of the best, worst impressions of Norm MacDonald. Dude, Norm MacDonald loves my impressions of him. He's not alive anymore. He's watching down on us from above. He's watching up at us from below. Wow. What? Now Link joined Norm in the afterlife. <laughs> that was so terrible. <laughs> what did you do? I Apparently I ran into a bomb. <laughs> With a skeleton horse. And it just immediately detonated. I was all excited. I finally had like a decently quick way to get around <laughs> in the depths. Oh, I still have it. It was a decent way to get around until it was a decent way to get six feet underground. Ooh, until it was a decent way to hear the, an explosion sound. Oh, it was a decent way to no longer feel the pain of the pound thing. Of headache your heart. That you had. <laughs> or heart. The pounding in your head and heart are both gone. That's a bad thing. I'm just going to activate some light roots on the way here. To hopefully a, a Yiga clan hideout that has planes. And we're getting some depth light. So that's good. This is all progress and has to get made. We yeah. are 100%ing this file. Oh. No, we're not. Well, Only maybe. if someone comments. <laughs> and even then, maybe not. <laughs> Croton has been working on that. 100%ing. <coughs> Cheers to the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Good luck, Croat. Anybody can do it. Well, people have. Well, I'm just saying, if anybody can, he's one of them. I watched a video about a guy who was one of the first. I think he was like number 16 to 100% Tears of the Kingdom. I don't know how he knows that. I'm sure it's at that point. But he made a mistake, like not marking off some stuff on an interactive map while he went. And so, like... He had to search every Korok location that he'd already gotten all along the way to find the ones he hadn't. Oh. Yeah. Bummer. I wouldn't want 100% a game just because I'd have to think about completing it from the start. Mm-hmm. But I guess, I mean, if, you, if you're excited to start a new file and do it, then... Yeah, I can see that. Okay, we have a little bit of a higher... Oh, there! I found one! Hopefully there's a flying dude around it. That is the goal of today's episode. Yeah. It's high up, so the chances are good. For, oh. for flying stuff? Am I seeing a flying vehicle, or... I don't know. No? Just a stationary Poe up high in the foliage of a depths tree? You say foliage or foliage? It's definitely foliage. Yeah. The uh, I is after the L. I like to say foliage in honor of Marge Simpson, who is usually right. But in that case, very wrong. Well, yeah. Um, I like to make fun of a guy that I saw on the internet one time. He was talking about Dungeons and Dragons stuff. And there is like a... Uh, Did he pronounce it Dungans? <laughs> Almost as bad. And Drajans. There's a thing called a phylacrity. A phylacrity. Phylacrity. And it's like what a what a uh, a lich uses to keep his soul alive. And this guy called it a phylacrity. 
Oh. Yeah. That's terrible. A flackerty. That's like especially. Oh. <laughs> Wait, where did my Yiga yeah. thing go? You imagined it. Is it over here? Anyway, I pronounce foliage correctly because it doesn't take a nuclear scientist to say foliage correctly. Oh. <laughs> it's it's oh. nuclear. It's not, it's nuclear. But Homer Simpson says nuclear. I'm gonna be sad the day that you tell me that The Simpsons is too old for me to reference. Which it may already be. Dude, that thing reminds me of some enemies in some Zelda Stop. games. Stop! Oh my gosh. Oh, you're down to a quarter fart. That didn't even help. That'd be a pretty big quarter fart. If your quarter fart sounds like- There is one up there! We got it! This is the place! Then your whole one would sound like- <laughs> You ever have one of those? No. No one has, Peter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Off. Ew. <coughs> Did he shoot you through the ladder? <clears throat> oh! <laughs> Leave those arrows there as a testament. To your flackerty. Flackerty. <laughs> oh, and all the comments in the video, too, were like, flackerty. <laughs> it's like the one where you, um, you called Mr. Mr. Nook? Mr. Nuke? Tom Nuke? Tom Nuke? It's not entirely wrong. No, I know, I know, but, like, there were a lot of comments. That's an Animal Crossing character. He's the dumb little dog with the guitar, right? No. Well, He's, what's that guy's name? His name is KK Slider. Okay, do we remember what the comment is here? Oh yeah, you're gonna change out of your Yiga outfit once you're on the flying machine. Yeah, I have with to jump off Yiga. and fly. Yeah, I have to jump onto the plane. Uh huh. Land on it, and then once I'm on it, change off the Yiga clan outfit. Right. So I'm gonna save. You gonna take <clears> your <throat> bow off? No, see, here's the thing. People are like, it's Tom Nook. And like, I understand that that would be the American pronunciation. Like, but the, book. Whole, but the whole play on words is that he's a tanuki. Correct. He's that is not, correct. He's not a dog. He's not a raccoon. He's a tanuki. For more uh, information about tanuki, please consult Super Mario Brothers 3 on the NES. Dude. Oh! No! Okay, load. That was super close. That was close, but that's why I saved. I, don't I wonder if you climb can it again. recall his uh, vehicle <laughs> while he's on it, and he just like stays put, and the vehicle backs up. He's like, uh "Oh, <laughs> what happens if?" I mean, we're not trying that this time, but <clears throat> I mean, we'd be able to tell real quick if he could, or if he just like falls off of it because he doesn't get recalled, but the vehicle does. I'm guessing you can't recall it. Guessing it follows different rules. Correct. Yeah, because there's no it's there's no like distance limit to recall. Hey, good job. These guys are so tall. Yeah, it's like the NBA player, the basketball players of the eco world. Here we go. What's up, dude? How you like me now? I'm Fantingle. What the? Huh? Oh, 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 whoa! What is this? He's not he's like I can't drive anymore. He just lets go. I'm gonna just keep. I'm gonna fly. I'm gonna just keep trying to fly this thing with my hands. Does it keep going in a circle? Yeah, I think it's programmed. Try standing on the uh, like far left of it and see if it'll straighten out or turn or anything. That's not the left. That's the right. Yeah, you're wanting to see if we can get it to go to the other side. That is really funny, though. Hey! Can you recall it now? Nope. Can you take a fan off of it? No, because no. these aren't stuck together. This is like a, like, oh, welded... Oh, like a constructed one. Machine, yeah. yeah. there's no goo. 
Well, what do we do now? <laughs> you just gummed him. You know what? This makes me wonder, though. I have an idea. I stole this, right? Yeah. But what if... <coughs> can you take it apart now? <clears throat> I don't oh, want to take it apart. Stick one thing to it, and then you can auto-build it. Yeah, does it count as one thing? That's <laughs> the wrong thing to do. Should stick something funny to it. I don't think it'll let me. My guess... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then we can auto-build it. Is it going to cost the same as all the individual parts? I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, it does. But... Oh, it does oh, put the glue. Oh, it does put the goo. Weird. Well, now we know. The more you know, the more you goo. <laughs> we gotta get back up there. Wait, what for? Well, cuz... Because... I wanna unlock it. We came all this way. Use a rocket. You wanna unlock it? Use a rocket. Oh. Get me out of here! See ya! <laughs> Bye! Uh oh. Uh. Uh. Don't drive into those lasers. Uh. <coughs> Excuse me, I gotta stop making noises. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Good job. <laughs> Did you know that things that make noise, like loud noises, when they tumble down rocks and cliffs and stuff in the game, if you fuse into your weapon and then you drop the weapon, it'll do that too. Well, That was the guy we needed to kill to unlock the door. Was that an elevator? <clears throat> it was like a, a sentry box or something. We're going to get the schematic for it right now. Uh. I can't remember what they called it. Doom elevator? Let's get this thing. It is it's called a the schematic. Oh, you got beam the beam turret. turret. We get that box thing in a different one, I guess. We get the battery charge thing. Ooh. Ooh, we can afford another cell. <laughs> did you dive into the ground? Yeah, I did. On purpose. I'm not going to read that book. No, I don't need to. I'll check for bananas. <gasps> I found whole boxes of them, but they're tied down, so I can't pick them up. Those are incorporeal bananas. <laughs> they're too corporeal. <laughs> no. Well, yeah. Glowing cores in the roots. Sun to lions, glory to Master Koga. Oh, yeah, that's what we had We to did read. the thing. That was pretty funny. He was like, wow, 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 wow. Definitely worth it. Uh, did you think so? Comment below. <laughs> I suppose it is up to the commenters. The viewers. The watchers. The basement dwellers. What what uh, wacky adventure will we get in next time? Hard to say. Here's a wacky adventure we got into previously. Uh, you should go give that a click and we'll meet you over there in the basement.